Hello. Hello everyone. I just thought while I'm driving down to my mates, I'll make a quick video because it's been on my mind a little bit about um, about politics, about the election and stuff. I've just waited till the dust settled really before I had my fucking say. Tried to keep away from it. Um, anyway, just like to say congratulations, David, Mr. Cameron, on winning a seat in my van. You lucky bastard. There it is. Well done. Um, I'd love you to come and sit down with me on a journey where we can just have a little chat. And um, yeah, basically, I didn't vote in this election and I'm never going to vote again with these fucking cunts that um, put themselves up for vote because we're all liars. Um, what I do want in the next election is a shitload of new faces and I want the yes or no game uh, introduced which basically is you ask them a question and they've got to answer yes or no if you know what I mean, instead of beating around the bush, all we want is fucking actual answers, yes or no, to simple questions, and it'd make it a lot easier, probably, and then they eliminate them straight out of the fucking election if they don't say yes or no for an answer. And I think that'd be interesting. I think if that were televised and stuff, I reckon uh, a lot of kids will be in interested in seeing it, because it'd make it a bit fun as well. Anyway, that's one. Uh, the next thing is, everyone in that election, apart from the ones that won it, uh, resigned, didn't they? To my knowledge. Um, now, I ain't bothered what anyone says, but if you truly care about the people and the country, you don't give up. You don't just fucking chuck the towel in when you've lost. Can you imagine, like, what? how do you feel if you voted for them? Like, just resign. resign. What's that for a leader? That ain't a leader. That's a fucking liar that just can't be asked anymore. Do you know what I mean? And who wants to vote that in? Who wants that running the country? No one. Um, another thing is, I believe there's something above David Cameron. There was something above Gordon Brown. There was something above Tony Blair, uh, Major, Thatcher. There's some operating above them, behind the scenes, that we can't see. Like the elite people that are telling them what to do. And what our Prime Minister's doing is being a yes man to that. Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. And the people that actually care about us wouldn't get in power because they wouldn't be allowed to get in power because they'd want to look after us. And basically, what the world is, it's all about making money over your health, right? Now I want to see a leader come out and say, no. Big corporations ain't making money out of our people anymore, out of my people, from my country anymore. You're not doing it, whether it's a bank, fucking Asda, uh, Starbucks, or whatever they are, they're not doing it anymore. And to be fair, it's all crap what the sellers anyway. We're all fucking surrounded by crap. It's all advertised. You can't really get away from it, to be honest. Um, I'll tell you a little thing about, like, a certain disease, right, and I know, I don't want to offend anyone with this, because I know people that have lost people, I know people that have had it, uh, in my family as well, and cancer, and ca what cancer does is, it thrives in acidic bodies, and that's what we've got in us now, and all these, I mean, you just check the, um, the ingredients of what you're eating now, and stuff like that, acidic this, acidic, if you're eating, drinking acid all the time, acid, acid, you're going to help cancer survive and control your body because it thrives in it. So you want to look into making your body alkaline anyway if you're one of these health freaks or you actually care about yourself. Just do that because we're fucked mate, do you know what I mean? What it is, is there's too many people in the world and they've got to get rid of us. I'm sorry to tell you that, but that's the fucking truth. And none of your leaders are going to tell you that. Because who's going to who's telling you what's giving you all this stuff? Nobody. Nobody's telling you I'm giving you a reason. All we've got is hope for a cure. Let's not fucking hope anymore. Because let me tell you what open praying does. Absolutely nothing. It changes nothing. That's what I believe. 
while you're praying and hoping for fucking stuff, it's not happening, right? You're just wasting time. Where the here and now, if we get up off our arses and speak about it and say something, we can do something about it. So I want to see our leader talk some truth, have a bit of a spine, and when election day comes, I can wake up in the morning like, yes, he's going to get in. This is our leader. Look at the way he speaks, and I want to, I want to see his face, and I want to know that he ain't a liar just by looking at him. I don't even have to listen to him. I know that bloke is good. Do you know what I mean? That's what I want for me to vote. Until that day comes, nobody gives a shit about us. They just care about money. So we need a bloke that's not money orientated, you know, because we all are. It's the way we're brought up. You know, don't tell me, hey, I were there. I were one of them that played the video games when we were young, when they first come out. And you go fucking go around and you collect coins. That's the aim of the game, you're collecting coins. And it's almost like when you look back, like they're gearing you up for the world, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? And when you start thinking like that, like I do, you start realising what's going on. And then you realise your world's about that big. And everything that you've been taught at schools, because obviously they run the schools, and they run, because who, who's been to school and they think, there's no point in me learning that. There's fucking no point in me learning that because it hasn't helped me in life one bit. And personally, I don't think, I reckon I could have been all right now and still be a good bricklayer without even going to school. It might be a bit different but on the social side of things because you don't mix with all the kids, but something else would do, wouldn't it? Where we actually learn stuff about life because all we've got now is when you turn 18 and that, the big world it's shot, sure, and you're out getting pissed up, right, and taking fucking drugs. That's what everyone does. 50, you lose 50% of fucking the kids when they're growing up through that, losing their minds. So, you know, and I've been there, but I don't class myself as I fucking lost my mind. Summit saved me, and I class myself as a very fucking lucky man. I'd just like to say that. And I thank you for everyone that's fought and died to me. So I could make this video in my van right now, driving to my mate's house. What a privilege that is. And I thank you for that. So just wanted to say a little summit about politics and what's going on and things we could change. Um, I'm sorry that I've had to make this video and probably piss you off. But if I don't, I'm scared. And I'm not. Peace out, brothers and sisters.